Hi, my name is Denise O'Brien and I'm from Locust Grove Elementary. Today I'm going to talk to you just really briefly about Seesaw and the difference between a Seesaw journal and the Seesaw activities page. When Seesaw was first created many years ago, it was kind of designed to be a digital portfolio, or digital notebook system for students. So you have to imagine the journal is like a student's notebook, a paper pencil notebook that they would have in your class if they were face to face. Each page of their notebook could be a completely different thought, idea, piece of work, piece of writing, whatever it is that they want to put into that journal. And each page is a different entry. The student journal on Seesaw works exactly the same way. So each student has their own journal and in the pages of this journal they can add as many entries as they want. And for a student, once they're into their journal, they can click on the green add button and they can add entries any way that they want. Photos and drawings and videos and notes and uploading things. So they can add their journal entries any way that they want. And once it's uploaded, a teacher can decide how she wants to set up her classroom. So you have some choices. As the teacher, you can choose to set up your classroom so that students can see each other's journal. You can choose to set up a classroom where journals are private. So that means only the student, the teacher, and the parents that are on Seesaw can see it. Um, and, that, and so those are your two options. And really within those options, there's no right or wrong. It just kind of depends on what how you want your classroom set up. So this is an example of a Seesaw classroom where students can see each other's journal entries. So I'm going to show you how you can customize that even more. So here we got Pete the Cat and you'll notice he has one drawing posted into his journal. It'll pop up here in a second. I think he drew a self-portrait. Yep, there it is. Now as the teacher, here's where I can customize those journal options. If I come up here to the wrench, these are my class settings and I click that. The class settings window will open up and if I scroll about halfway down, you're going to see some options for their journals. So this first option is, well actually let's look at this one first. Students can see each other's work. So this is where you as the teacher can decide, do I want students to view each other's journals or not? And you can turn this option off or on. So if I choose to turn it off, it'll give me a little warning. Changing this setting will sign out all your student devices. Students should sign out now and sign back in so they won't lose their work. So that's just letting you know that if you've been using Seesaw with students seeing each other's stuff, when you first turn that off, they'll get a notification to sign out and sign back in before you can do that. So it's really a good idea if you change these settings before you start your class. But if you didn't, that's okay. No work is going to get lost or anything like that. So you have some options for student likes and comments. We all know that teachers can comment down here and like the different things that students post. But you can choose if students can do that to each other's work as well. So if you have the button on that says uh, students can see each other's work. If you click on the student likes and comments, you will see that you've got three options. You can turn on the ability for students to like each other's work or not. So basically you're going to give this heart to students so that they can like each other's work if they wish. And then you can also turn comments on and off. So if you turn comments on, you can choose whether or not those comments have to be approved. So you can uh, moderate all those comments if you wish. Uh, it's an extra step, but I do think as students are learning the proper way to comment, that's a nice option to have. So you have complete control over what the students can and can't say, or if they can like or even see their, their students work. So what goes into the journal? Obviously anything a student just adds to their journal will go into this journal. But also any activities that they complete for you will also go into their journal as well. So now I'm going to switch gears and talk to you about activities. So over here in the activities page, the activities page is really where teachers are going to spend the majority of their time lesson planning. Activities are where you create the lesson plans that you're going to assign to students so that they can complete their work. Here's an example of an, a completed activity. I want students to complete this I See Colors photo book. I have instructions on the activity. Um, it's got nine pages long. We can look at it so you can see what that activity looks like. So this is the cover page. On each page, I'm asking students to draw a picture of something that matches that color to write the word. So I'm getting some understanding of um, if they know their color words or not. It's a simple activity that might be for preschool or kindergarten. And when I assign this to students, I can decide if I want to assign it to all students, 
maybe just a handful of students, um, and I can decide um, who, or who, what students will or will not see it. And in fact, I can even see which students have or have not completed the activity. So by clicking on this gray bar here, it tells me I've got three students in my class that have not completed, not responded to this activity. So that's just some more data and information as the teacher that lets you see who has done what in your Seesaw class. So let's look at how I create one of these activities. I'm going to come over here where it says need ideas for today and I'm going to click the acti browse activity library. If you've never explored the Seesaw library before, I highly recommend you take a few minutes and do it. It is filled with so much amazing teacher created materials um, and it really has, you know, it's the whole, I like to tell my teachers, you know, work smarter, not harder. This is the place to do that. So there's so many pre-made activities that are just waiting for you to modify and change. You can search by grade level. You can search by subject level. So whatever you might be interesting, let's look for some kindergarten math activities. And maybe I want to do this number tracing activity. When you find one you like, you can click on it. And notice it gives me the complete set of directions, the whole activity from start to finish. From here, I have a couple of options. I can hurt this and add it to my library so that I can use it. I can click these three more dots right here and I can do a couple of things. The first thing I can do is I can copy and edit this activity. So let's say this activity is almost perfect, almost exactly perfect, but maybe I wanna add my own voice directions to it so, so that students can hear my voice. So I'm gonna make a copy of this activity and then I'm going to add it into my own set of directions. So here is the activity. I want to add voice instructions to that. So now I'm going to use this microphone to record these directions. Tap the green button. Click on the pencil tool. Choose as many colors as you want to trace the numbers 0 to 10. When you are done, click the green check mark and click your name. Click the green check mark again. And so now I'm done recording. It's going to keep all that information. I can listen to my recording. Tap, Tap the green, the green button. button. Click, Click on the on pencil, pencil tool. tool. We don't have to listen to all that. So now I've just taken that pre-made activity. I've added my own little spin to it. I could change these directions if I wanted to. Um, I like the template that they've added. So I'm going to keep the rest the same. And I'm coming down here to the bottom right and click Save. Now, when I come over here to my library, this is where the things that I have found are stored under it's like my folder. I will see this number tracing activity with my name on it because this is the one that I have edited, that I've added my little extra voice, um, voice instructions to it.